here at the NFL Combine. Talk about the experience and what it's been like for you so far. It's, it's been a great experience. Um, you know, it's, it's fun meeting all the guys and you know seeing how, how this whole situation works. But I need a lot more sleep. Man. I, was just, I mean, we, we barely get any time to sleep. Like just this morning, I was up. I was up at 4:30. You know, doing a drug test, and I haven't you know been back in my apartment since. What's this been like sharing it with uh, this experience with your teammates, with the other guys down here? Yeah, it, I mean, it was a fun experience. You know, we haven't really all got to hang out and really see each other, but you know, just going through the whole process, we're able to like talk about it and you know get a heads up on what you know what's to come. But um, you know, we're all just supporting each other and hoping for the best. What are you hoping to prove here at the combine? What are you hoping to show? I'm just, I'm just, you know, I, I want to prove that uh, you know Big Ten corners can you know produce too and. Um, you know that we're not really a sleeper conference, but uh, you know, I really just want to, you know, come out and show, you know, what I can really do and perform at the highest level. Well, let's go back to Michigan State. You wrote a really nice letter and, and thanked the fans. So, can you kind of take me through that letter and, and why you felt the need to write that and a little bit of what it said? Basically, you know, I, I owed a lot of all my success to uh, Michigan State. You know, not even, not just the coaching staff, but you know, the surrounding cast and you know, even the fans. You know. Um, they've always been there to support me, and um, you know I felt like I needed to get that out. And then talk about some of your best memories in Michigan State. Obviously, you had a lot of times there. So, what were some of the best times and best best memories you'll look back on? I mean, the, my time there as a whole was probably my best time, but uh, probably something that you know not a lot of people would agree with or think I'd say would probably I'd, probably, I'd say one of my best times was definitely the Notre Dame game. Um, you know, it was my first year starting, and you know, I had a lot of, you know, calls going going against me, and you know, I feel like uh, just you know that that game, you know, built a lot of maturity with me, and you know, going back with the fans, like, you know, I, I made a joke to one of my teammates. I'm like, man, like everybody's gonna hate me, like cause all these like bad calls, but you know, they they still supported me and had my back no matter what, and that's something I'm, I was really appreciative. I talk about the team next year. Obviously, a lot of potential, a lot of guys returning. They're going to have to fill some big shoes, replacing you and Curtis and even Quez from last year. So, tell us about some DBs we can look forward to next year that are going to take over for you. Honestly, you got to look out for them all. You know, we're, they're going to be young, but you know they have experience. And you know, like Coach Barnett said, you know, every day is a competition. So, you know, that spot's open up for grabs, and you know, nobody has a secure spot. So, it'll be interesting to see who uh, takes that spot. What does uh, Michigan State mean for you? It gave you a chance, Coach D, Coach Barnett. I know you speak highly of those guys. So, what did they really mean for you in your career? You know, family and a home away from home. You know, my dad always talks about how Coach Barnett's, you know, like a father figure to me. And um, you know, they, the coaching staff, not only won the respect for me, but my parents as well. And uh, when I finally told my parents I wanted to commit there, they, you know, they were all for it.